The Adult Brown Bag Lecture Series at the B.B. Comer Library continued this week featuring Wayne Flint. Wayne's lecture was about Mary Ward Brown, a writer's life. We had a chance to catch up with Wayne and find out why he was in Sylacauga. I lecture all over the world and my favorite place to lecture is Sylacauga, Alabama. Lots of good friends and former students and wonderful people and a proud town with a wonderful past. Wayne, tell us more about Mary Ward Brown. Alabama doesn't appreciate its own. If you're a football star, everybody knows who you are. If you're someone like Harper Lee, most people know who you are. If you're someone like Mary Ward Brown, who was one of the great short story writers in America in the latter part of the 20th century, almost nobody knows who you are. And she has two books that are world-renowned books called Tongues of Flame and It Wasn't All Dancing. And uh, there is no better writer of short stories than she was. And she was honored by be being asked to join 20 American writers and 20 Russian writers for a wonderful anthology of Russian and American writing. And they chose one of her short stories for that collection. And yet here's a woman who's not known at all in Alabama. And so sometimes we take pride in stuff like football which is tran transient, it'll be here and gone. And we forget that we can inspire our children to be like Mary Ward Brown or Harper Lee or Truman Capote or, I mean, there's so much to be proud of in this state. And I just want people to understand that literary culture. She wrote a story called A Meeting on the Road. And it's about a man who had a black friend in Marion, Alabama. Uh, and they grew up together and they were good friends. And uh, he became a county commissioner. And then when the politics of the Perry County changed and a black majority took over, they fired him and hired somebody else, an African-American. And he was really bitter. And one day he was riding, uh, uh, walking down the road. And this car went, came by and sprayed gravel all over him, knocked him down. And, and he started ranting and cursing. And the car stopped. And this guy got out of the car, and it was his childhood black friend who had gone by. And all of a sudden, he had used the N-word in his rant. And he thought, you know, I never, I always hated that word when others used it. And I felt so uncomfortable when people referred to my friend from childhood with the N-word. And he said, here it is. Here I have used that word before I knew who it was that drove by and kicked the gravel up. And uh, it's a story about race and guilt and reconciliation. The Adult Brown Bag Lecture Series is presented by First Bank of Alabama and will feature Patrick Barnett and Tina Marie next week, February 16th at noon, all at the Harry I. Brown Auditorium inside the B.B. Comer Library in Sylacauga. Reporting for WOTM WOIL, I'm Chris Davis.